uh, in the past, uh, say, 40 years, what is the one lesson we've learned? That you cannot have uh, prosperity and economic growth if there's not peace and stability. So Pakistan participated in these two uh, uh, conflicts. One was the Afghan Jihad in the 80s, and then uh, uh, in, after 9-11, we participated in uh, the war on terror. And both these uh, cost us heavily. Uh, the first conflict left us with militant groups uh, after the Soviets left Afghanistan and, and a culture of uh, Kleshnikovs and, uh, and drugs that were used to pay for the war, uh, sectarian groups, which did a lot of damage to our society. And the war on terror that left us with over uh, 70,000 people dead, suicide attacks. Pakistan considered one of the most dangerous places in the world. So when my government uh, came into power, we made a conscious decision that we would only partner people in peace. We would not become part of any conflict. And secondly, the legacy of uh, the 80s where we were left with these militant groups still operating in Pakistan. Uh, this was the first government that has uh, now disarmed them and tried to rehabilitate them. <coughs> so as a result of this, the, the first uh, benefit Pakistan had is in tourism. Pakistan is probably one of the most uh, in terms of tourism, one of the most undiscovered countries in the world. Uh, it has one of the oldest civilization, the Indus Valley, 5,000 years old. It is um, in terms of uh, a country which is sacred, which has sacred places for four religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, the center of uh, the old Buddhist civilization, and then Sikhism, and then of course Sufism. <coughs> so, all this potential was untapped. Then it has the uh, one of the most uh, um, uh, undiscovered mountain areas. Half of the world peaks over 24,000 feet are in Pakistan. So, uh, so the first impact was the tourism doubled in one year. It doubled. Uh, it was then called a Nast uh, magazine named it as the most. Uh, exciting tourism destination and um, the back, British Backpacks Packers Association, they sort of uh, named it as, uh, as the top uh, destination. Uh, and <clears throat> we believe that in tourism, Pakistan um, can make a, uh, collect a lot of revenues, especially foreign exchange. You know, we, uh, when we assumed power, we had the biggest problem was our current account deficit. So uh, the shortage of dollars meant that the current currency was sliding. Uh, so the number one impact on tourism. Then the next thing was investment. We have a young population uh, need employment. And the only way we can um, get them employment is by, uh, by bringing investment, local investment, uh, you know, start reindustrialization. In the 60s, Pakistan was one of the fastest growing uh, countries in terms of industrialization. Um, we were the fastest in the subcontinent. We lost our way in the 70s because of uh, uh, an ill-conceived nationalization, which just stunted, uh, stopped our industrial growth. And then this uh, socialist mindset, which was anti-profit making. So we have reversed this. We have this now the government is. Uh, actively um, uh, uh, incentivizing industries and investment. So we, we have, uh, we then try to remove all the hurdles in the way of invest investors. So the World, uh, the World Bank, its uh, index for ease of doing business. Pakistan was one of the top countries. We climbed 28 places. Of course, a long way to go, but you know, this is the, the direction the country is headed. Our uh, investment in one year jumped, foreign investment, jumped 200 percent. So, um, uh, and profitability, uh, I think Unilever is here, their, their profitability went up. Uh, the other is 
is um, uh, um, uh, other uh, foreign invest investors have come back. Kargil, for instance, it had gone away, so, so, so that came back to Pakistan. So the whole idea is to now incentivize uh, businesses, industry, remove hurdles in their way, change the mindset from the socialist mindset, which was envious of profit making, change it to uh, the more people make profits, the more investors come to your country. <coughs> and um, to, to ensure that uh, we do not go back into that, the days of, you know, when you have conflict, we have played our part in um, <coughs> trying to uh, uh, avert the conflict between Saudi Arabia and Iran, uh, which would be disastrous for Pakistan. So Pakistan played its part there. We are now working actively with the Americans for peace in Afghanistan. So uh, there are good signs, you know, there's a chance of ceasefire in Afghanistan. Very important for us because that opens up the economic corridor from Pakistan to Central Asia. Um, the areas where we are hoping to attract investment, uh, agriculture is one because we have fertile uh, agricultural land, but unfortunately, uh, very low productivity because there have been no new techniques coming in. We have. Uh, we don't utilize the water properly and so on. So we are trying to attract uh, uh, investors in agriculture. In minerals, Pakistan has probably one of the best gold and copper reserves, but still uh, we haven't had uh, 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 mining companies coming to Pakistan for various reasons. So we are now giving them very good terms for the, the mining companies to come over. And for <coughs> And also, uh, uh, the other area, we now, uh, a revolution, first time in Pakistan is trying to go into a digital Pakistan. We have our young uh, 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 experts in that area, Tanya, who's come back from Singapore and she's handling that. So we are inviting foreign companies, technical uh, uh, companies to come and uh, invest in that. Um, <clears throat> uh, so basically, uh, you know, we have, uh, we are right now, we first year was spent in stabilizing Pakistan also because we inherited, as I said, this huge current account deficit. So the first year was really uh, stabilizing our currency. Um, uh, uh, we brought down our current account deficit by 75%. Um, and now this year is the year where, where we want the, our economy to grow. And we need growth because obviously we want to provide uh, employment. We have the second youngest population in the world, so we need to, uh, the economy needs to grow. So we are doing everything possible to attract investment and make it easy for our local industry to invest, uh, giving them incentives. And, and as I said, it's the first time since the 60s that a government is consciously now uh, planning to help its uh, its industry growth. 